What's poppin' guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to edit videos like a pro in Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021. Because of course, if you guys didn't notice yet, every Thursday we will have this series on the channel where we're gonna cover every single topic that this program has to offer. So in this video, I'm gonna just show you guys some shortcuts and how to edit like a pro and save time and all these little things that I also show in Vegas Pro and also use in Vegas Pro. So if you guys were excited for this video make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching i would say let's get into these tips right after the intro All right, guys. So as you can see right now, we are in Movalvi Video Editor Plus 2021. So how to edit like a pro is not really that complicated because there are actually four steps that I prepared for you guys so you can apply this into your editing. So right here, as you can see, this is just me doing a couple audio tests and just making the actual intro of the video that you're watching right now. So the first thing is to use LUT filters or color grading in general, because if you're gonna go ahead and use this clip, for example, of course, it looks great because you can see like this LED strip behind my TV, behind my couches, as well right here and like this light on the back of my monitor but if you guys don't have that or you're just in a certain setting where everything looks really really plain you got to use some color grading so what we're going to do for that is we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on filters right here we have color filters and we have many different choices for example the Klimt, Levitan, the Manet, Rubens, Sisley and so forth so depending on what kind of footage you have are you filming yourself inside just like I am in front of a camera are you making for example b-roll shots in the woods it all depends on what kind of content you have so you can obviously see this preview right here okay so let's say that we're going to use this filter we're going to drag that guy on top of it on the actual track and as you can see right now it actually adds in a lot of blue and everything it doesn't look that natural anymore because depending on how lighted your setting is because it depends on the kind of lights that you have on your shot and also how hard the iso is set on your camera so to actually undo this we're going to just press ctrl z and then we're going to just browse a little bit more through the filters and see which one looks actually you know the most accurate i think these this el greco would actually look very nice on it as you can see that looks really cool the colors are amplified the shot is not too dark it's like showing that it's like shot at night for example or in the evening it's, it look, almost looks nice and cozy so that's a really cool filter that you can apply on it but we have many many different ones for example the levy tan right here if i drag it on here it will add in a lot of blue we have the Klimt, which is going to add in a lot more yellow and that's basically one of the tricks you guys can apply onto it you don't have to make for example like these lot filters yourself or you need to buy certain packs or whatever you can just simply go to the color filters tab in the menu right here where it says filters and we have for example favorite ones noise adjustments art artistic blur and all these kinds of filters that we can apply onto our video let's say that we're going to pick a mid blur that's how you can also for example select a certain section on your screen and also blur that one it's really really cool and using lot filters is actually pretty important if you want to make your videos look like it's for example shot on like a five thousand dollar camera it's like a really professional setting and that's just one of the tricks that also pro editors use because i can't really think of any single pro editor or an editor that does it for example for a living or that takes it seriously that is not grading his footage that's just number one key the second tip is actually for the people that are editing with different cameras and different audio settings different audio files so right here we have for example two types of audio we have the audio from our camera that is automatically naturally sticking onto the bottom of our clip. As you can see, if I drag this guy around, the blue audio underneath it is going to stick, but this green guy is actually separated audio from this microphone that I have right here in front of me. So how do we actually synchronize this up? Because you can also go ahead and do it like this and make sure everything is aligned, but you just want to make sure to select both of the audio, and then you want to right click, and then right here it says tools, and you want to go ahead and click on synchronization. And now right here it says select two clips with sound, place the clips on different tracks or levels. So you you want to make sure that your audio is for example not like on the same track of it but just make sure it's nice underneath it and then you want to click synchronize and now it's going to take a couple seconds and right now if i zoom in all the way as you can see right now it is synchronized this spike is really high because on microphone of my camera and this one is actually pretty soft because i need to turn up the volume quite a bit but i think i'm also able to normalize this one somehow for example, let me check where I could also make the sound a little bit louder. If I drag down the audio of the camera, this is what it sounds like so far. 
What is going on guys? My name is Alan. As you can see, it almost sounds like static, but that's because we have two audio tracks underneath it synchronized. So how do you do? go ahead and delete the audio from your camera? It's really simple. You just want to right click and then you want to click on delete. And now you can also trim this guy down, for example, just like that. Make sure it's nice and sticking to the audio. And that is how you can create and synchronize audio in Movalve Video Editor Plus. So the next one is using these titles. So I'm gonna use an overlay for this for my name. So we're gonna go to titles right here. And we have opening, meaning that we can, for example, have this lower third of our name. So now we have a lot of different ones to choose from. I'm just going to pick this one, text with line two. I'm gonna drag that on top of the timeline. And then we can actually customize it right here. So let's say that I'm going to type in my name, like I always have in my videos. And then underneath it, I'm not gonna put any text underneath it because I don't really do it in my actual videos. So now we're gonna make sure to place this guy underneath it and make sure it's nice and aligned. So let's play it back right now. Okay, that was a little blooper, but you guys know exactly how it works. So if I play back, this is what that overlay looks like. As you can see, that's a really, really cool lower third already pre-made for you. Because in all honesty, Vakes Pro doesn't have this. They don't have like pre-made assets that you can just drag in your timeline straight from the menu and just customize it. So if you delete this one right here, we have a trendy circle that will also come in. So right here, you can also just, you know, replace the text. Let's say I'm just going to type in my name, Alex. I don't know if Halford is going to fit. Oh, it's just fitting. And then I'm just going to delete the word forever like that. So let's play it back. That looks actually very, very cool. I almost want to export this and see if I can incorporate it in my actual tutorials. It just looks that great. It's pre-animated for you. And it's just really, really handy to just drag on this stuff, customize the text, and it doesn't matter which one it is. For example, the studio one, you will automatically have your, you know, words that you can double click on on the preview. And that's how you can use these title presets to spice up your videos and to introduce yourself or anything that you like to do. All right, guys. So the last one is the one I'm the most excited about. And that is, of course, intro videos. So we literally have pre-made intros already, you know, done for us in Movavi itself that we can just drag on the timeline straight away and customize it. So right here, it says, of course, intro videos under this tab, which is the titles one. And then right here, we have, for example, a glitch intro. So let's drag that into our timeline because right now it has to download a little bit first. But I think the intro is just the right size and just the right length. A really, really cool glitch intro that you guys can use in your videos and you can just go and, you know, customize the text if you click on this icon where we will be able to open up a separate timeline in our project, just how we can change up the text, for example, like that. And now we can type in, for example, just, and we're gonna just leave a space between each letter because I think that looks cleaner. So that's G space U space S space T. Okay, so that looks really, really cool. So now it says subscribe. So right now I'm just going to click on apply and return. And as you can see, if I play it back, this is what it looks like. It's our intro, you know, with the glitch. And it works exactly the same with other intros as well. Right here, we have just Alex Halfer, subscribe. And that's how simple it is, guys. This is how you create and how these make these cool intros in your actual timeline. So if you guys are excited about this, make sure to check out the link down in the description to pick up Movavi. And you have many different, you know, intros and templates to choose from. So this is basically how to edit videos in Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Thanks a lot so much for watching. Now you guys know how to edit videos like a pro. I want to thank guys for watching. If you guys also enjoyed this video, make sure to reward it with a, a like down below. And also let me know down in the comments what you would like to see next with some features or any kind of, you know, things I want to go in depth on. Make sure to let me know by a comment down below. I want to thank Movavi also for sponsoring this video. And I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next one.